right, welcome everybody to the Zoning Board of Appeals for July 17th, 2019. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. So the first order of business, I'm going to um, you entertain want me to shut this air conditioner off so I can hear people. Can you not hear me? Can you hear him? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> well, it's... Look at that technician hands. All right. So I uh, have you guys had a chance to look at the minutes for our last meeting? No. The ones yeah. that I put in front of you. Yes. Yeah. Are we confident enough to? Uh, oh. I'm sorry. To Can't make a motion me. to approve the minutes for July 9th, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. You cut the copy, right? Yeah, Any discussion? Hearing no, all in favor? All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. I will now reopen the public hearing. Mr. Chair, yes, yes ma'am. I'm hopeful, but not overly optimistic. Because under Mass General Law, someone who didn't attend the first iteration of the hearing cannot vote. So I did seek town council's opinion on that, and she can vote. As long as we bring her up to speed, we're basically starting this anew this evening. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, there is a procedure for that. <coughs> there is a procedure, but yeah. it's, it's circumvented if we bring her up. And she'll be, we're going to basically start this anew, because we really didn't discuss much last time. Right. We just went for an opinion. Okay. Yep. I, I definitely made sure to speak to him in regards to that, so we're good. Yeah, she absolutely has to. She we have look a at, look at the, the yes. recording from last time. We have more responses from the letter that we sent out. Oh, if you lo want to love to have them. Yes, start. please. Don't need them to start, but we'd love to have them. <laughs> so I'm going to reopen the public hearing at 6.03. Uh, the applicants before us, thank you, ma'am, have applied for a special permit for a pre-existing structure. Um, they have a current, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's approximately eight by, let me look at my notes, eight by 10 structure on the property. And they're looking to replace that with a 20 by 30. Uh, special permit allows that. We did seek a, an opinion from town council. The board has that. Um, if you've read that, I don't know, we really have to go into it, but I asked all the questions that were brought up before and after. Um, it is within the scope of that bylaw, so we do have the ability to or uh, to issue a special permit for that new structure this evening. My only issues are, um, I believe it's section four. It is section four C two B. Um, states that special conditions for granting a special permit that development within floodplain district of any structure requiring a septic system, which this is, the plans um, provided show that there will be a septic system on that, shall be allowed only if authorized by a special permit granted by the planning board. And I'm assuming you do not have that. Um, I don't know if we have, want to have major discussion. I'm open to entertaining a motion. Did you want to speak, ma'am? You had mentioned that you didn't want to? Okay. Um, I'm open to entertaining a motion to approve uh, the special permit for said project with the conditions that um, we have an approval by the Conservation Commission and a special permit's granted from the Planning Board. Well, it, the, the septic system isn't approved by the, high, the, the, the uh, Board of Health. Well, that would be above and beyond. They would have, it would have to be approved by the Planning Board, and Jeff Taylor's not going to issue a permit without, you know, without that. So our bylaws state that they have to get that special permit from the planning board for that structure. And obviously conservation has to approve that as well. Right. So th th those would be the order conditions that we would place on that. Does anybody want to make that motion? Do we have a second? We don't have a second? Not yet. I will second for discussion. 
Discussion? Question? Yes, ma'am. I'm speaking in my capacity as chair of the planning board. Yep. Mr. Servant, or is it Servant? How is it pronounced? Whatever's good with you. All right. I'll do Servant. It's easier. Yeah. Mr. Servant contacted me by email at the behest of Nick Tomo, the CEO, in April and asked what the requirements were for a special permit for the planning board. I told him he should bring in the materials he had, any plans, any narrative, and that I would put them on the agenda for May. The day before the meeting, Mr. Servant contacted me by email to confirm that the meeting was on and that he was on the agenda. And I immediately emailed him back and said yes. He did not show for the meeting. I put him on the agenda for May. He did not show for that meeting. Excuse me. I, I was just, it, may I speak please? Absolutely. I have the Bible floor. I was just going to ask through the chair why Mr. Servant did not show up at our meeting because I could have walked him through the process and told him about the requirement that we had and reviewed it at that time. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know what the what the uh, situation was. We, if, if, I, if I could speak on that. Uh, we were at the meeting on May 1st. Uh, we, were, we were seen, we were the uh, last group to be seen at that meeting. Uh, the three of us were there. Uh, we did provide plans. Uh, there was some discussion. There was a two hour meeting. Uh, <laughs> we were at the very end. We, we, were, we were there, so. Uh, Sir, I do not have any plans in my possession, nor of the planning board. From that's right, that's right. You, you handed the plans back to us. You, you said, uh, uh, you, you handed us a photocopy of the planning board rules, and you said, uh, there was a little bit of discussion. You said this is not ours because it's pre-existing, not conforming. Yeah, it does. And you handed the plans back to us. Uh, as far as the septic, um, we anticipate a new septic, but there is an existing septic system, a cesspool, on that property uh, that has not been abandoned. Uh, Title V is very specific. Uh, Chapter 35 of Title V is very specific as to you know, the process of abandoning a system. The system hasn't been abandoned, uh, nor has it, been nor has it had a, a failed inspection. Um, so at this, although we anticipate what wouldn't be, what, it wouldn't be called a new system under Type 5, it would be an upgrade of a system. Um, we do anticipate that, that, that it certainly would not be sufficient for, uh, uh, for this new building, uh, the small cesspool. So, so I'm, I'm, I don't want to speak for her at right. all, but I think she's kind of going to go a long way around that you do have to meet with her. It, it, we did, and we will again okay. if that's the case. But yes. he, in fact, he, I took a picture of the room on the day of. Because it's I such a beautiful room. room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have, but I, I do yeah. have pictures of us <laughs> in the room on we, that night. We did sign in also. Okay. Um, it was a long meeting. You were going to have to submit a full um, application for this permit. Coming to us and talking about it isn't going to do the job. You're going to have to submit an application and go through the permitting process with us. Understood. So in the email chain, you had mentioned um, I had asked you to fill out the permit before we come, and I believe you said that we could attend and that you would tell us what we would need to submit the permit. And then in that meeting, you said this actually isn't a uh, matter for the planning board that we should go to the zoning board of appeals. And no, so I did not say it was not a matter for the planning board. I said that the planning board was in the chain. To be fair, you okay. Just said a few well, I, ago I don't think I don't think we, I don't I think we're not going to get anything solved here. So right. okay. Yeah. So did uh, the members have any comments, questions? Understand that this requires a unanimous vote for this special permit to be approved because there's only four of us. All right. Have you heard from Roger? Did he say? I have not heard from Roger, and there is a conflict with Charlie, so Charlie will not Ooh. be in attendance tonight. Oh. <laughs> He's in the list. He's in the butter. Do you three have any questions? No. Did you have a question, ma'am, with that motion? No. Are you opposed to the project? I don't think so. You don't think so? So, so you, so you are not opposed to it. I haven't seen the plan, so I, I can't say that. So I've heard from them. I, the, the minutes will state that there wasn't a butter and she did not object to project. I have another question. Yes, ma'am. Plan submitted to town council as part of your inquiry? What plans now? Were the plans from the applicant? The, uh, it's a him, and he did see the proposed plans 
with the setbacks. The setbacks do meet um, the bylaws. So you sent him a physical copy of the plan? I sent him a text picture of the plan. Any other discussion? Hearing none, do we have to take a roll call or? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Yeah. So I am going to take I'm going to take a roll call for the record to reflect. So come to our aye. Force here. Simon? Nay. And Cleveland. Cleveland? No. The motion does not pass and a special permit will not be issued this evening. <coughs> Any comments, questions? All right. No. I will entertain a motion to adjourn well, I'm going to adjourn the public hearing at 6.13. I will entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting. Do we have a motion? Yes. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone.